Hey y'all, I'm Pearl Banks, and you watching. Y'all, it's been a wet, muggy old day. It rained this morning. Uh, couldn't get out and do a whole lot, but uh, this evening it's fired up. The uh, sun's come out a little bit. Uh, trying to. Uh, after we get out and see if we can find uh, a shed or two. Uh, ain't had much time to, to do that. I've uh, been wanting to do a video. Uh, you know, uh, we may come up empty handed, guys, so, so don't get. Uh, no, don't get uh, carried away and think we're going to find a, a sack full. Uh, we may come up empty handed and we may find, I don't know, hunter. You know, you never know. But one thing's for sure until you get out there and try it, you ain't going to find nothing sitting on the couch. Uh, but, uh, hey guys, you know, let's hit the hay and get to it. You can see right through there that the deer's been using this trail. So that's the kind of thing you're looking for. You know, deer trails, you gotta have them. If you're looking for deer horns, you gotta have deer trails. So you can see right through there that that game's using that. And I know this because I come here every year to the same spot. But that ain't all it's using it, look here. There's a lot of big bull elk in this country too. Well, elk of any kind, really. What this does is goes right here. And you can see, if you can see through the camera at the end of that, that drops over into a big deep holler. That's where we want to be. That's where we're going to find them. If we find any, that's where we're going to find them. You can still see your game trails. See the game trail, them deers are burning this up. Then right here it bounces over the hill. That's where we want to be though, over in there. We'll just go up here and around. All this is is an old water break they ditched this out. Here we go, right here, guys. Here, here we go. Check it out. A little bit him, but we'll take it. So, guys, we just found our first one. We was just walking this trail right through here. 
All it is is an old water break that the coal company put in. As you can see, it's a little bitty feller. But if you could see that, right there he is. We'll take him. That's one on the boa. Litlands count too. But they use this trail every day. I know, I mean, I, I come here every year do the same thing. Some years I find them, some years I don't. But, uh, hey, we found one today. But, uh. I'd say he's been coming up here drinking this water. You can see him water that that water stands in this little old valley down through here. But I'd say that's what he's done, come up through here drinking this water. And it was really loose. And when he went through these little old water miles here, I'd say he's got hung up. And that's what's knocked it off. But uh, let's check it out. One, two, four. Don't look like it's been dropped long. He would have been a little bitty old thing, but, uh, you know. At least he's still alive, hopefully, and the hunters didn't get him, and uh, he'll have time to grow. But, hey, that's one on the board. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I didn't think it was looking good. We've walked quite a ways. Well, let's see what else we can do, guy. Check this game trail out. You talk about war down. So guys, another thing I'm looking for while I'm out here uh, wandering around the woods is uh, morel mushrooms, uh, dry land fish, a lot of people call them around here. I'm sure other places have got different names for them, but uh, during the spring, they come out for about a two week period. You either get them during that period or you don't get them at all. So while I'm out here, I'm keeping my eye out for them. And uh, really good places for them is moist area so just like this area right here you got this old dead log all that dead fall up in there and this water coming off here so like right up on that bank around that area around that root ball over there them's perfect locations uh haven't found one yet and don't know if i will but uh why i'm out here kill two birds with one stone so you know, hopefully we find one and I can uh, show you guys what it is if you don't know. I just absolutely love this time of year, guys, when, uh, you know, that weather starts to break and you can get out and do more things and uh, everything starts to bloom out. It's an amazing time of year to me, but uh, you can see everything's in its process. A couple of days, this will be a, well, if it gets a little bit of sun, that thing will be a thriving. and will have yellow blooms all over it and be absolutely beautiful. I forget what we call them around here, but I got one in my front yard. Here's the one I wanted to show you guys. You can see this guy. He's starting to bud out good. It won't take long, this will be a big beautiful flower. Kind of like these guys right here.
So if you don't know, y'all know I'm a tree guy. If you don't, you do now. But if you don't know, when you look at this tree, here's a ring. Here's a ring. Here's a ring. Here's a ring. Ring. But what each one of these rings represent is a, another year's growth. So last year, this guy would have been doing the same thing as he's doing here, but he'd done it right here. So this is his growth from last year. About four inches of growth from last year. So if you didn't know, now you know. Springtime to me, amazing. Let's get back at it. That's all slap dab out. I'll show you a clear way to know if, uh, you know, mushrooms is uh, out and starting to grow. See this little old flower, little old plant right here? It's all over the woods. That's called bird's toe. When that starts to bloom, you can bet morales is starting to pop up. The sun's trying to come out for us. Might be a good evening, beautiful evening. But clear indication that mushrooms are starting. I want to show you something else here. Out of all the other trees, check this little guy out. He's got these little spines here. Green as a gorge. That's a holly tree. Holly tree. Beautiful little plant too. There's more of that bird's toe. That is very edible, that bird's toe. Take you some bacon grease, real hot bacon grease. Throw you a big wad in there. Pretty good stuff. You talk about a good place to kill a squirrel. Look here. Look at the canopy on them big beech trees. Squirrels galore. Now check this old big beech tree out. He is hollow as a jug. Big crack goes a pretty good ways up him. And he's got a hard lean. That's how strong them suckers are. Tell you what the old timers used to do. Uh, you can see how big that is, and a lot of them get like that, but uh, where they're hollow like that, back in the old, old days, they would take them, because a lot more, most beech trees in eastern Kentucky is hollow, the majority of them. 
I can show you right down there's one. I don't know if you can see it. There's another one with a hole in the bottom of it. See up at the top of the dead end. But anyway, back in the old days, the old timers would take, cut them off the length they needed, as long as it was hollow, and put it in like a drain. So just like you would a, a steel or a plastic pipe these days, they would put it in there and where it's hollow, water would run through it. And then they could build over top of it, dry, driveway or whatever, you know, a road. Did you know that? Let me show you this other one though. It'll be hollow too. You can see right there's a big lead that fell off up. Just look how big that limb is off up. Now that's just a limb off up. Here you go. You can see he's got dead all in him. You ready for this? In you go. Now that makes great habitat for a squirrel or whatever, you know, raccoon, whatever wants to go in there and live. Being the dry, Perfect little cozy home. Check it out one more time. Now I don't know if you could see anything in there. Till I see the footage, but that's one big old tree. Me and you both can't wrap our arms around that. And it's hollow. And old timers could have used it for a good drain pipe. Absolutely. So right over here is that water break that we come up while ago, the one we found the little horn in, would have been right on around that way. See a squirrel or something out there, maybe. but we went down there and come up the back side of it. We'll check that area out, and then we'll head right around the edge of this hill. Well, let me tell you guys, if uh, if you're going to get out and do this kind of thing yourself, most time Hunter would be with me, but uh, today he didn't want to come, so, you know, that's all right. But uh, if you're going to get out and do this kind of thing by yourself, just take your time, look around, enjoy yourself. Don't get in a hurry, because that's how you get hurt. If you're out there by yourself, it could be bad news. Make sure somebody knows where you're at, and... Make sure you got a way of calling in case of emergency. But uh, just take your time. You'll be fine. Main thing, enjoy yourself. So I didn't have the camera rolling but uh, when, when we walked up on it. But uh, I did find another one. And uh, I've looked at him. I haven't picked him up yet to see how big he is. But uh, 
I could see he's been been laying here a while, and I could see he's been chewed on. Uh, reason I missed it uh, over the years, I come here every year, like I've said, but the uh, reason I've missed it is I never come out on this point. I've uh, never journeyed this far. I always stay back there to the strip side. This here ain't been touched, so but let's check him out. He's about brittle. I mean, he's still a little hard, but he's been there a while. You can see the squirrels have slapped dab eat him up. See how he's been gnawed on? Recently, it looks like. I think the squirrels, they get, uh, they get something out of it. I don't know, you know, if it's minerals or what, what it is. Uh, you know what? Uh, looking around here, I see, I see this old fence line. They've nailed that fence up to that tree when it's a little bitty thing. Now it's grown into it. Right slap dab in the middle. <clears throat> it's broke down there but it, it could have been up at the time but uh reason i point the fence line out is fence line it that's a perfect place to find a deer horn or not a horn deers don't have horns they have antlers horns stay on on an animal's head antlers drop off year yearly and uh and grow back but uh and you may hear me say deer horn again. But uh, back to the fence. A fence row is a really good place to find a deer horn because what happens is the deer's got to come here and hop that fence. So when it does, that causes a jarring effect. And a lot of times, probably I would say 75% of antlers is found around fence, fence rows. So, another tip. But uh, that's what happens. Uh, and I'd say that's what's happened here. He's come here. Let's see what side it would be. That would be his uh, left-hand side. So I'd say he's come this way. It was laying there, which the squirrels could have packed it around. But I'd say he's come here and hopped that fence. And as soon as them hit, feet hit that ground and that shock load hit, it come off his head. But, hey, that's another one. We ain't struck out at least. Check that fence out though, how it's growed into that. That old horn was laying right there in the crotch of that tree. I'd say the reason he was up here was them oak trees he was eating on now. Acres. Deers love acres. At least we found two, you know, so far. We walked a ways to get them, but uh, that's all right. You know, a little walking never hurt nobody. Not much to brag about. Hey, I just noticed this one's See there? Squirrels have been chewing on him too. He's just dropped recently. Looks like. This boy's been laying down a while. Hey, we didn't strike out. That's the main thing, guys. You see like this hill here where they come up? That'd be another good spot to find them because what the, what's happening is uh, it they got to put in a little bit of effort to get up that hill. So it's causing shock. 
you know, so be another good spot to look. All in and all models because what happens is there's so many of them and the branches you can see goes everywhere deer walks by. They catch that branch with that horn and it's loose. It's going to knock it off that head. So they thick, but you can get in there and find them. There's the home to some kind of bird. You check out what a perfect hole that woodpecker drilled in it. You know, like right here would be a perfect place for one of them mushrooms, one of them morales. But so for today, we have struck plumb out on the morales. You know, I, there is the possibility we could find a elk shed today, too. Wouldn't that be nice? There's a big flat right over the hill from us here. I think we're going to go walk it see what we can't find. Squirrel sit there and eat his acres. Beech nuts, whatever, chestnuts. He had a feast right there. The reason them deer is traveling through this area is uh, straight over the hill from us here. There's a big pond, so. I imagine that's where they're going to get their water. Well, it's a pretty active area, year after year. As you can see below me, they built an old road out through there years ago. And this is an old road right here perfect place to go look. But right now, we'll have to wait for another day because I just ain't got the time. Hunter is wanting to go to Walmart and get him a new fishing rod because his uncle gave him a new reel. So that's the agenda. perfectly fine with me. There's another trail being used today.
was his liquor limb. See how the ends up's broke? more of that scat. Don't see no more hair. What do y'all think went down there? I don't know. I got ideas, but not sure. So, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. The scat belong to and where the hair come from? Right next to it. So you're in Kentucky, even out in the middle of nowhere. Even out in the middle of nowhere, you can find a Budweiser can. People throw it down. bedding area. So here's some other scat. Coyote, I'd say. Just my guess. See the rabbit? There's a turkey on over the hill. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Check this out. What in the world? 
world is that, guys? I see more of them all over the place. I don't know. But I will find out for you guys. So what do you think these things are, guys? Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, uh, I know some some people that may. Uh, just my, my guess is that it's going to be some kind of fungus like a canker fungus or something uh, look at that ooze that's coming out of the bottom up there that's my educated guess but I could be wrong you know I say I've been wrong before It may be some kind of nut. So we are going to try to crack one of these open and see what we can do. If we can. After seeing this, guys, I am thinking it's some kind of nut because it's growing straight off the tip end of the limb. Definitely some kind of nut. Check that out. I'm butchering my knife, I know that. Hey guys, you come out here, you do this, you're wading through the brush, the saw grass, the cedar trees, the autumn olives, and mostly you sticking right to the game trails. So, ticks curry on all that stuff I just named, even the animals, the deers, the, the turkeys, then you got turkey mites and all that stuff. So when you get out of there, make sure you check yourself. If you bring the young, you be sure to check them and a pet. If you got a pet with you, a lot of people, my dog walks with me a whole lot through the woods. When you get out of there, make sure you check them for ticks, because I promise you, they out there. And uh, this ain't gonna work out no better. I just looked down and I seen one crawling right up my legs. Be sure and check yourself, guys. Check everybody you bring and, and, and make sure you get them off of you because they can cause you major problems. There really is one right here. <laughs> it's gotten worked out no better. Where'd you go, my friend? Look here. Hey, 
Hey guys, had a great time today. Uh, got a little exercise. Uh, sun started to come out. Turned into a beautiful day. Uh, got out of the house, main thing, you know. Act, be active. Uh, but uh, we didn't come up empty handed. I never expected to find the thing. Uh, you know, I come and uh, most time when you find a deer horn is when you ain't looking for it. When you are, not so much. But today, just got lucky, I guess. Uh, couldn't have happened any better. But uh, Hunter's going to be <laughs> Hunter's going to be two things. He's going to be mad because he didn't come, and he's going to be tickled pink because he's got a few little old fellers for his collection. But uh, and uh, you know that makes me happy. But uh, I wished he could have come. I wished he would have come. He could have, but he didn't want to. And, and, and like I said, that's fine. But I wished he would have. But uh, Great time, guys. Great time. Uh, you know, just doing something. Doing something. It was a mucky day. Wasn't a whole lot of man could get out and do. So I decided to do this. But uh, we dang sure struck out on the mushrooms. Uh, I don't know if it just ain't time yet or, or we was in a bad location or what. Uh, I've never found any here, but uh, I thought a man could have. But listen, guys. Uh, Appreciate you. Really thank you for letting us be a part of your day. You know, if you're watching this, you allow me to be a part of your day and my, my channel and what we're trying to do. But uh, I really appreciate that, and you don't know how much. Uh, guys, keep on uh, keep on supporting us. Share with your friends, your family. Uh, let us know what you want to see. That way we can do things that you want to see, you know, and that, that, that'll keep you entertained. Uh, but listen, guys, I'm tired. i got to get the boy to the Wally world and uh, get his old horns back to the house. He's going to put a smile on his face. But, uh, hey, guys, you know, that's all we got for you today. We gone. <laughs>